Hi guys, Tasha from Stardust Gold Crochet. Thanks for joining the cow. I hope everybody's enjoying it so far. Uh, we're working on week, this is still week one. I'm shooting this in week one, which is Saturday, but tomorrow's the start of week two. So it's going to be a four week cow. And for those who are new to joining, and thanks everybody for coming by. I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, if you go back to the previous videos, there's a few uh, for post number one. It's just the introduction of what, what Fair Isle is, a little bit of history. Part two is a little bit of going over about the hooks and the gauge. Part three is about changing colors and actually working the knit stitch. And today's part is going to be a little few more tips and tricks on how to float your yarn behind so that it looks neat and that you get the nice, um, nice little flows. There's just a few tips and tricks. It's not a big deal. And the video is going to be really short because we don't have time to watch 30 minute videos, but some of them are 30 minutes long. And it's just because that's how long it takes to learn something new, hopefully. But so anyway, um, so yeah, just keep watching this video. I'm going to do a real short tutorial on how to get tip, tips and tricks on how to just keep the backside of it looking really neat and nice like this one like that welcome back so I wanted to also let you guys know that okay as you can see the sample that I started working up I've done a few rows already and this is my ruler 12 inches long this is about how much mine is measuring right now so it's measuring about 12 inches which of course when you double it up is 22 inches I just wanted to make note of that so you don't freak out and go, oh my God, it's too big. It's not gonna fit on my head. Um, because when we do the brim of the hat, it draws everything in. And it's, um, let me show you the sample. Okay, so yeah, this is the same. This is the original that I did. And it measures the same around um, approximately, just a, a little bit around 12 inches just a just a little bit lower than 12 because my head measures 22 inches so just a little bit under is fine for me and it's loose which i like because when it's a tight brim it kind of um feel like i'm claustrophobic so when we do the brim of the hat you'll see that it'll draw everything in and oops that's where you can customize it to make it as um as fitting as form fitting as you'd like so i hope that helps everybody with any kind of confusion that you might have had on how large it seems when you're working it. So let's talk about the back. Um, so you can see my, where my yarn has been floating. And I wanted to mention, so once you start getting a few rows in, um, turn it this way, once you start getting a few rows in, these, you want to carry your yarn for only around um, three, so three stitches so in the fourth stitch you'll you'll tack it to the back and actually enclose it instead of letting it just uh, hang because otherwise when you have um, a series of stitches where you might have six or seven stitches in between one single um, contrasting color stitch so you might have seven solid blues you want to just tack it so you don't get these really super long ones that will snag and I, I left this like this to show you because back here you can see there are let's see one two three four five stitches so you're going to want to tack it up around the middle of it either in the third or the fourth stitch just so it doesn't hang and I let me show you where I actually tacked it so one of these oh I don't know oh here it is Okay, so this one I actually tacked it in, tacked it up to show you guys how. And when I say tack it, I just mean normally what we're working when we do this stitch is we're letting, we're, we're keeping one color on the bottom. For this row, I'm keeping blue on top. And I'm keeping, I'm going to get closer. And I'm keeping my white on the bottom and my blue on the top. So, um, if you have a long series, I'm just gonna do a sample. This is not following the pattern. So say we have one, two, 
and let's see how long the back is getting already. See how long that is, this? So what you really wanna do is tack it up if you're gonna go more than five stitches. So what I mean by that is, so say this is my third stitch. So instead of just keep floating the yarn, I'm going to work my hook and put it on top of my hook and work my stitch around it like that. And I'll keep going and continue with it on the bottom, but it will be tacked up like that so it's not hanging too loose like this one. Because this one gets snaggy. They get snaggy. That's how it works. So I would keep it consistent. Like for instance, if you have a series of five stitches, let me get my pattern. So if you have like a series of say, there's only a few places in the pattern where you go more than um, five. So here's five. So you wanna tack it right there on the third stitch. Um, these are three, there's four. You can leave it, oh, here's one. One, two, three, four, five. There's another five. So you'd probably wanna tack, tack it there on the third stitch. There's five there, tack it there. And other than that, there's not a lot of spaces that have a lot of um, colors in between. And let's see on this pattern. No, not for that either. So you might only have to tack it a few times, but that's a helpful tip for if you're going to create a different um, pattern using your own you know, creation or your own snowflake design or whatever. So that'll be helpful because if you, you just, it's good. So that's it. That's all I wanted to teach you guys today and keep working your rows. I'm gonna post the top half of the pattern so everybody can keep working on that this week. Um, and it does take a little bit of time, so be patient with it. And then when we come back next Sunday, I'm going to just kind of be silent this week, but I would love to answer questions. I didn't receive any emails for the questions. If you guys have any questions, please email me. I'll try to address them in the next video, and that will be um, helpful for other people who may have the same questions that you have too. So let's just keep working these rows and post your pictures to the Stardust Gold Crochet and Friends group. Or you can, you know, send me an email, startuschoolcrochet at gmail.com. Hope you guys are having fun. Let me know what you need, okay? Happy crocheting.